Behind every generational goal scorer, you have a special playmaker. Just look at the most recent 60 goal scorers in the NHL. Stamkos had St. Louis, Ovechkin had Backstrom, and Austin Matthews has Mitch Marner. Aside from his unique ability to create a play, Mitch Marner is the heartbeat of the Toronto Maple Leafs. He's the pulse of the team when things are going good, and you can see it when things are going bad. But being born and raised in Toronto, Marner knows better than anyone the level of pressure and passion that surrounds this team. Both on and off the ice, Mitch Marner is the most important player on the Maple Leafs roster, and this is why. Let's start on the ice. It's a bold claim to name Marner the most important Leaf when you have the reigning MVP on his line. But no matter who Marner plays with, he makes them instantly better. Scoring 60 goals in this league is incredibly rare. You need to be a generational talent and you absolutely need an elite playmaker. The Leafs offense relies deeply on Marner's ability to feed Matthews or Tavares either on the rush or during sustained pressure in the offensive zone. Being one of the most dynamic wingers in the game, Marner is a master at sucking defenders in and creating pockets of open and ice for his teammates. As a playmaker, your strength is to see the play develop before others do. In order to do that, you need to have a unique amount of patience and poise with the puck. Mitch Marner isn't exactly a one-on-one -on -one specialist. He can go through guys and make a special play, but his bread and butter comes off the rush and using changes of speeds to suck in defenders. The players who can create space off the rush are truly game breakers, and Marner is a master at it. By using a change of speed or stopping on the rush, he forces defenders to quickly close the gap and skate to towards him. This patience opens up all kinds of space for players joining the rush. Because of this patience, Marner is at his best when he lets the game come to him. In this regard, he's very similar to Patrick Kane. Kane, of course, also has the ability to make defenders look silly in one-on-one -on -one situations, but his best quality is patience also. Like Marner, Kane loves to use a change of speed or lateral movement to throw off a defender's gap and create space for teammates. In the offensive zone, Marner's vision is second to none. Before Marner gets the puck, he knows exactly what he wants to do with it. With no look passes, he'll take a quick scan before he gets the puck to understand where the pressure is coming from. That way, when he actually gets the puck, there's no hesitation and he knows exactly where to put it to create a high danger scoring chance. He's also one of the best in the league at taking pucks off the wall and funneling it into high danger areas. When creating offense, coaches want their team to get off the boards and into the middle of the ice. Marner is extremely efficient at this. With minimal body contact and perfect positioning, Marner is constantly taking pucks from the perimeter of the zone and distributing them in high danger areas. This coincides with another area of Marner's game that makes him so valuable, and that is the defensive side. With the innate ability to read breakouts and anticipate passes, Marner is a key contributor in helping the Leafs regain possession and play with the puck. Because he does this so well, he's been a significant component to the Leafs' PK over the last couple of years. In fact, he's done it well enough that even the Leafs coaching staff have been comfortable throwing him out on defense in some 5-on-5 five -five situations this season. On the ice, Marner is simply irreplaceable. Off the ice, he may be just as important too. For Mitch Marner, his energy and psyche seems to be a direct correlation to the performance of this team. When I look at the morale of the Leafs throughout their ups and downs, they usually mirror the play of Mitch Marner. And while you can say that about Matthews or Tavares, I'd argue that Marner is the straw that stirs the drink for both of those players when he's paired with them. So when Marner isn't exactly feeling confident, the Leafs seem to struggle. Part of that involves him being a play driver, but the other part of that is his contagious energy. Even when veteran Jason Spezza was on the team, he admitted that Marner's drive, overall energy, and enthusiasm was something that resonated throughout the team. When the Leafs look at their worst, Marner is usually playing tight and making uncharacteristic mistakes. Take the beginning of the season as an example when the Leafs were struggling early on. Marner was making mistakes and showing frustration, and that was a window into the psyche of the team at the time. However, when the Leafs are at their most dominant, Mitch Marner is loose, energetic, and confident in his decisions on the ice. Even riding this 15 game point streak right now, Marner is creating offense like how we discussed earlier in this video, and he's having a massive amount of success. Whether you think it's fair or not, Mitch Marner's legacy and reputation will forever be linked to the success of the Toronto Maple Leafs. That's the deal with playing in Toronto. You're a hero if you win, and you're to blame if they lose. Mitch Marner is the heart and soul of this Leaf team, and if they have plans on breaking through and winning a cup, Mitch Marner may be the most important piece to the puzzle.
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this longer breakdown. Let me know in the comment section below if you think Marner is the most important Toronto Maple Leaf. I want to thank Hockey Training for sponsoring this video. If you're a hockey player and are looking for help on your game, Hockey Training is the perfect fit. Using science-backed training methods, they work with players of all ages and skill levels to help them take their game to the next level. They have a YouTube channel with tons of free resources to help players, so if you're interested, I'll leave those links down below. As always, I want to thank you all for watching, and we'll see you soon. Soon.